reports. A nuclear plant has not been built in this country since the disaster out at Three Mile Island. But concern about climate change and the push for energy alternatives is changing that. 25 new nuclear power plants will be built here in the U.S., the first of which is expected to come online by 2016. Is this the solution to the energy crisis? And more importantly, is nuclear power safe? Well, joining me to answer that question is Gregory Yatsko. He's chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He's with us here live in studio. Is this safe? How do you sell it to the public? Well, Margaret, I think uh the number one focus for the NRC is to make sure that whatever is done in this country with nuclear power is done safely. You know, when I when I come to work every day, I'm, I'm blessed to come to a, an agency that's filled with incredibly talented and dedicated people, and they come to work every day, and their focus and their mission is on safety and security. So, we won't approve anything that's not safe, and I think that's that's going to be our focus, and it will always be the focus for the agency. Now, there has been attention paid of late by some European countries, Finland among them, in regard to certain types of technology that are being looked at by U.S. corporations to build some of these expected plants. Are you considering uh, what some of your European counterparts are, are looking at in terms of their level of concern on safety? Well, we work very closely uh, in an international arena. There's a variety of different organizations where we share information about the reviews that we're doing. So we are in very close contact with our colleagues in Finland as well as in other countries if they have designs that are similar for the ones in the U.S. So specifically, Areva's EPR reaction design, is that of concern to you? Are you looking at that? Well, that's a design that we're reviewing right now. And as, as we do and with any of these reviews, you know, these are complicated machines. So there's a degree of, of technical complexity. And as you go through these reviews, we find issues where we think there need to be improvements, where we think uh, we need more information. So that's a, a natural part of the review process, and it's something that happens every day. There's a lot of communication back and forth between our staff, between the applicants, between members of the public. And uh, anyway, it's why I think such an important piece of what we do mm -hmm. is to be a very open and really transparent agency, because people are interested in, in what we think and what our safety findings are and, and where we are in the review process. So that's a big focus for me as we go forward as an agency to make sure we're giving that information to the public so people can understand. Now Westinghouse's CEO has said via editorials that he expects the first plant uh, that they're building to be out there online by 2016. Is your agency expected to issue a new reactor license by 2012? Well, our focus, as I think you said, Margaret, is, is to be on, on safety and security. Mm -hmm. And the agency is very focused on doing our review in a very efficient and effective manner. But I think uh, we, we don't put on any particular deadlines because that wouldn't really be consistent in the end with safety. Uh, you know, it's, I was reminded of when I went to college, it, it wasn't as easy as just being on campus for four years. You, you had to complete your work, you had to take your classes. And when you did all that, mm -hmm. and you did it in a good and a, in a high quality way, then usually you, you graduated in, a, in, you know, in about four years or whatever the time was. So that's our focus, is on making sure we get the information we need from the applicants and that our staff does a good job in reviewing that. Now, the upcoming climate change conference in Copenhagen is in focus right now. Nuclear waste itself has, what, spent fuels 20 times the radiation levels that are fatal to humans. Can you actually consider nuclear energy as clean energy in a true sense? Well, I, I think those ideas about what is clean energy or not clean energy are probably issues that are beyond our focus as an agency. What we want to make sure, with whether it's with spent fuel or nuclear waste or any kind of other material or nuclear material, that if it's used, it's used safely. And, and right now, spent fuel is being managed safely and securely at nuclear power plants all over the country. So I okay. think that's something that can be done and will continue to be done. Thank you.